Hi moms and dads, I'm Liz Richards, physical therapist with Fletcher Miller School. And the activity I'm gonna do with you today is called Chop Salad. And I wanna give a big old shout out to our preschool teacher, Mary Nelson, who this is actually an activity I'm stealing from her, but I love it. So we are all gonna make a chopped salad together. And some materials you're gonna need are some clear floor space and your own hands to help your child and perhaps a pillow or two if you're afraid of your student falling over. Um, adaptations for different levels of movement. Um, you can put supporting pillows, you can support behind your student's back if you like, um, and you're gonna need maybe some parent assistance for some weight shifting or some reaching. And we're gonna cover some foundational concepts today in this activity, which are weight shifting, reaching, stretching, and we're also gonna talk a, just a little bit about nutrition. Um, what we're going to do is, first of all, have your child sit on the floor with their legs straight out in front of them. And we are going to get together and we are going to make a chopped salad. So what we need to do first is reach forward and open our refrigerator door. This is all imaginary also, of course. Reach forward, open your refrigerator door, reach with the other hand and grab that lettuce and put it down right here. And then next thing we need, what do you want on your salad? Maybe we should get some cheese, but the cheese is way up there, so reach it and grab it and bring it back. And then on the other side, what else can you get out of your refrigerator? Maybe an egg on the top shelf. Get it down. So we've got cheese, lettuce, and eggs. What we need to do first is we need to chop up that lettuce. So let's dump the lettuce out in front of us and take your Ginsu knives and chop, 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 chop reach all of that lettuce. This stuff in close, this stuff far away, because I just, I don't like big pieces of lettuce in my salad. I'd rather have them small and chopped up. So we've got our lettuce chopped. And now let's reach into the cabinet and get some black olives. Reach, 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 reach. And you see, I'm supporting myself with this hand. So it's okay for me to put a hand down and support myself while I reach for the black olives. And I'm gonna bring the can of black olives back and I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna reach over here, but I fell down. So I'm gonna push myself back up with my hands. And you know what? I spilled my black olives and they are stuck on my toes. So I'm gonna reach and get a black olive off this toe. Reach, get a black olive off that toe. Reach, get another black olive. I don't know, it depends how many black olives you like in your salad. I probably should keep getting them because I like a lot. All right, so I've got my black olives all in my salad here. And now, you know what? I want some tomatoes out of my garden to put on my salad. So let's turn this way and turn that way. Pretend like we're walking out to our garden to get some tomatoes and stand in your garden, get some tomatoes. But we all know that you stand in your garden and eat some tomatoes while you're picking them. So eat them and then bring them back inside to put in your salad. So now we have still a big salad in front of us. We have lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, black olives, an egg. What else? What else do we need, Amy? Mm, how about carrots? Carrots, okay. I'm gonna open my refrigerator door up and reach and get those carrots and put them in here. Julie, what do you think we should add? Cucumbers. Cucumbers, okay. Open in the refrigerator door, reaching up there for the cucumbers and putting them. And you know, I still have my eggs, my carrots, and my cucumbers that I need to chop to put in my salad. So let's chop one more time. Reach with those Ginsu knives and chop, 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 And put them all in here. So that is my salad. That's the conclusion of the salad. This is an activity you can do with your children anytime. And you can see that I was doing some reaching. You can also do the weight shifting in a circle sit position. And as your student is reaching, they may fall over and it's okay, let them fall over, put them in a safe place where it's okay and make that judgment call. But we at school, we find that it's totally okay to let a kid fall over, experience that feeling of movement and then push themselves back up. 